Hello, I'm Clive. Actually, I'm a Sinclair C5. I was built in 1985, I've had my 30th birthday, and in car terms, I'm officially an old timer. My purpose in life was to be a cheap vehicle which people could afford to buy using the technology of 1985. Today, we've moved on, and fortunately, because of my owner, I have moved on as well. The drawbacks of the design were a poor battery capacity, inadequate brakes, and no gearbox or reverse gear. For my update, an axle stand was made to gain easy access to my undersides. To assist pedaling for different road conditions, a frame was made to adopt a Sturmey Archer 3-speed gearbox. The thumb control is mounted on the handlebars. chain required a good tensioner. This is what was devised. My motor was prone to overheat when heavily stressed. Fan cooling with a thermostat control was added. The new displays and controls were mounted in this white panel. Motors, gearbox and belt drive cog were made more rugged with this all-metal solution from Chaz. The simple on-off motor control was replaced by a pulse width modulated controller rated for 100 amps. A Hall effect twist grip was mounted on the handlebars. The original front brake was a bicycle rim caliper. It has been replaced by a mechanical disc assembly courtesy of Chaz. The rear drum brake was replaced with an idea adopted from Chaz. This has now been developed into a mechanical two caliper device. One for the hand grip brake the other is for a parking brake which has its own ratchet hand control. electrics and LED displays have been removed and a more conventional circuit has been developed as would be expected on a small car. The original 55 ampere hour deep cycle battery had been replaced by a similar battery of 55 ampere hour weighing 17 kilos. This has now been totally changed with four cells of the latest LIFE P04 type battery. These batteries only weigh 8 kilos. Now finally, to help my maintenance, there is a nice new hydraulic lift. No more making do, and it's much more gentle to my undersides. All major electrical items are concealed after the fully usable boot. my polyethylene body. 
it's fared well, and my design still looks futuristic. Finishing touches such as the mud flaps, registration plate lights, safety flags, kick plates, all help to complete the effect.